everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Haul Week where I'm uploading a new video here on my channel every single day this week. Today's video is going to be a J. Crew and a J. Crew factory try on haul, and I thought it would be interesting to do a little bit of a quality and price comparison because I did find quite a few comparable look for less options between the two. So I hope you enjoy today's video and get a lot of classic feminine outfit ideas from it. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below and let's get started. All right, starting off with one of my all-time favorite purchases from J. Crew, and definitely one of y'all's as well. This has been a bestseller the past few months and hopefully you can get a great deal on it this next week for Black Friday. I have a size comparison that I would definitely recommend to check out. When I first ordered this last year, I returned it because it was really big and oversized. So this year I wanted to try different sizes and do a comparison for y'all. So I will link that down below. I have a video and a blog post on how to style this, but this has just been a piece that I've reached for over and over again. It's such great quality. It is considered more of a coat again because it does have a high percentage of wool, so it will keep you warm. I personally sized down two from my normal because I wanted it to have a close, more cardigan-like fit. I have on this long sleeve ruffle top. I love that the little ruffles peek out, and then I paired it with a plaid skirt. But I did pick up a similar option that I was really excited to compare for y'all from the factory, so I'm going to switch it out for that one next. So this one from J. Crew, just to kind of go over the quality of it, it's 35% wool, 35% cotton, and 35% nylon, I believe. Um, so it's really thin for how much warmth you're going to get out of this. It's definitely warmer than a cardigan because it has that higher percentage of wool. Mine still looks just like the day that I picked it up. It's really good quality. It has like a little bit of stretch to it, but it honestly... I wouldn't say it's like a stretchy material. It just feels a little more structured. So this is the kind of comparable option that I found at J. Crew. It is a shorter version. And this one is 100% cotton. So it's not gonna be as warm because it doesn't have that 35% wool. But at least it doesn't have a ton of synthetic materials, which I was kind of surprised about. It does have a little more thickness to it compared to the J. Crew version. All right, here is the J. Crew factory version of, I think it's more of their, J. Crew has an Eloise blazer. I think that's more comparable to this. I just didn't own it, so that was the closest thing I could compare it to. So obviously the styles aren't the exact same, but as far as the material, it's thicker. But I still do appreciate that it's 100% cotton. I think that is a good price point for it. It does have a slit on the side. And this one has more of a lapel kind of look to it. The sleeves were a little bit bunchier. They were actually like kind of harder to layer with this top under than the Juliet cardigan that I own. That's just something random that I noticed. I'm very bummed about this sweater because I absolutely love the texture and it has a little scalloped edge. And I love that scalloped edge at the wrist, but the material is not comfortable. It kind of feels like almost burlappy on the skin. So I would have to find like a good nude long sleeve to wear under this just so it was comfortable because um, it is holy. So you would see like if I was wearing like a white shirt underneath. So very bummed about this one because I love how it looks. I just don't love how it feels, but I styled it here for a classic work outfit. You could even switch this out for boots if you wanted to do like winter boots for an office look. Um, these pants didn't arrive in time to go in my Ann Taylor haul, but I wanted to share them here. I love this color. They're a pull-on design, and they look very, very nice, but they're also extremely comfortable as well. I'm wearing a six, and again, just like all the other pants in that try-on haul, they fit perfectly on the hips, but the waist is a little roomy. These are elastic. I didn't even actually have to unzip them <laughs> to put them on, so... Very stretchy and comfortable, and I just love the fit. All right, I love this basic top. It's a ribbed ruffle neck top. It's a little bit thicker. If you're looking for a long sleeve with a little bit more thickness to wear under, you know, blazers for work, cardigans, and you don't want to go for like a thicker sweater material, this is such a great layering option. Um, I wanted to show you what it looked like without any layers over top. I am wearing a size small, fits true to size, has a great fit in the shoulders, and I love the ruffle details because that could poke through 
if you do layer this underneath something. This is probably one of my all-time favorite work looks that I put together. It is so chic. I love the light neutrals. Kept on the same pants and then paired it with the pearl blazer I shared in my Ann Taylor haul. If you're looking for more you know, feminine work outfit ideas, I will link that video in the description box below or you can check it out on my channel. But underneath I have on this ruffled layering top and it's such a good basic. It's a little bit thicker, really good quality. I love the ruffle here. There's also a ruffle on the sleeve and it's a great like winter workwear layering piece because it's a little bit thicker, but it's not a sweater. So it's easy to layer under you know, blazers and cardigans. If you are looking for something different in your work wardrobe and you're just kind of sick of, you know, the same black pants every single week. Um, I wanted to give these faux leather pants a try because I loved the color. It's this gorgeous blush tone. They also have two other colors, I believe. And these are definitely the best faux leather pants quality wise that I've ever tried. You just never know what you're going to get with faux leather. I feel like they can be uncomfortable, noisy, make you feel sweaty underneath. These are just buttery soft. They don't make like excessive noise. Um, definitely good quality, which they should be considering the price point's a little bit higher, but I love the texture that it adds. Definitely a very chic and unique piece to add into your work wardrobe. I am wearing a size six. I feel like the four would be too tight, but the six is definitely a little bit roomy. Gotta love being in between sizes. I need just a size five and that would be perfect probably. <laughs> Here is another great work pant. I love this color. It's a color I don't see as often. It's like you can find black and navy work pants anywhere, but getting like other neutrals to kind of mix it up is a little less common for whatever reason. These are a size six. They fit a little bit more snug than the leather pants, but they're also lower. They are below the, are right at the belly buttons. So they're more of a mid-rise. They are great if you have a shorter torso. Um, very comfortable and flattering. I love the pocket placement. More of a cropped length. They hit about an inch above my ankle. I paired it again with that same long sleeve top and then a like warm brown belt. I wish I had a heel in this color and I don't. So I just kind of went with a pop of leopard, which I haven't worn leopard in a really long time. Honestly, these are for sale on my Poshmark because I just don't wear heels like this anymore. But it is a fun way to add in a print. The pants are a little bit thicker, so I do think they are a good like winter work pant as well. True to size, but if you're in between, I would size up because they do sit lower on the waist. J. Crew Factory has a ton of really pretty, really affordable holiday pieces. So I wanted to try out the skirt and it has a really beautiful fit. I went with a size four and it fits perfectly. It's not too tight, like I'll be able to comfortably sit in but it definitely has a great fit at the waist and the length is also great too. Honestly, I still have the same little ruffle top on. This is why I love those basics because they can just go with everything in your wardrobe. Um, you could totally do tights with this or if you're into wearing black, I think it would look really chic with a black sweater, cashmere sweater, black tights and boots, even like a heel would look pretty if you're wanting to dress it up. They also even have a matching little hair scarf accessory if you put your hair up and wanted to like coordinate the outfit just to look completely put together. Um, but yeah, J. Crew Factory has some great holiday pieces if you're into like the Christmas plaid. So I have done a comparison of the J. Crew Factory and the J. Crew like parka coats every single year, but I wanted to share this year's version and share my thoughts again just in case you haven't seen those. So I have owned both. This is the current version available at J. Crew Factory. And this one is stunning. I love the gold buttons and it's very comparable to the one I got at J. Crew. It's not as warm. It's definitely like warm, but it's not as warm as the J. Crew version. The hood, like the fur on the hood is not removable and it's a lot thinner, which could be a pro or a minus depending on your take on that. So this coat is 45% wool, 45% polyester, and then it just says like 10% other. So whatever that could be. So yeah, it's it has like a good amount of wool percentage, but not as high. And that's really where the price difference comes in. But it is a very nice coat, depending on your budget. If you're looking for a coat for the winter and you don't have an extremely freezing season, this one will be totally fine. And I also love one thing to note, you can put your hands in the side of the pocket 
And then you can also like put your phone in here just depending on whichever you find most comfortable. I am wearing a size four in this one and I already know like compared to my J Crew one, the shoulders fit, like they have a good fit, but they're not as snug. So I would say this one is true to size in the shoulders. It seems a little bit roomier. I'm less restricted in this one than I am my J Crew version. All right, and this is my coat from J Crew. This one is 80% wool, 20% poly, and it's also lined. The lining does feel better, but I think they're both poly. This one does have an inner little hidden pocket. I think just on the one side, yes. And this one has a little bit of a leather zipper detail. Pocket doesn't function quite the same. So this one is just the top pocket here. And then you have these zip pockets. The faux fur is definitely much bigger and voluminous. And it's also removable, which to me is a big pro because I actually wear it without that, um, especially during the fall season. I guess if it's, you know, in the winter, I might put it on. Um, size wise, they're pretty comparable. I think this one is a little more snug in the shoulders. So if you are more broad, I would definitely suggest sizing up. Or if you want to wear sweaters underneath, I would recommend to size up. So, cause it does fit snug up here. So between the two, let me know which one you think is more worth the price. I also picked up another pair of the cashmere socks. I picked these up a couple months ago and I have loved to wear them around the house. If you're someone who gets cold all the time, I would definitely recommend splurging on a pair. So they're just nice to wear around the house. I do also wear them with boots, but keep in mind it's cashmere, so it is prone to pilling. So it just has a little bit more maintenance as far as using, you know, a little depiller. I'll link my favorite one down below, but finally snagged a second pair. I was waiting for them to go on sale. So I have it in cream and then I picked up this color. And yeah, these are just great if you are cold all the time like I am. And they also make a great gift or a little stocking stuffer. All right, next is this sweater dress and it feels so soft. It honestly feels like cashmere, but it's not. I mean, it even looks like cashmere. Like if I saw this out, I would think that it's a nice cashmere dress. And it's definitely more conservative length. It's just hitting at the knee. So this would be a really great workwear piece for the winter season. And I styled it here without a belt just because I wanted y'all to see the structure of the dress. But I do think if I were to wear it, I would belt it just to shorten the length a little bit and pull in my waistline. So here is the shape of the dress. Like I said, I think it has a very flattering fit to it. I don't feel like a rectangle in it. It comes in nicely. I'm wearing a size small. The turtleneck is loose and comfortable, easy to get on. Um, I have it rolled out here. I typically like to roll them in. And then I do like the sleeves. They have a little bit of a bubble and then they come fitted at the wrist. It almost feels like it's too short. It's not when I see it visually, but it just feels like it's short for whatever reason. So if you have really long arms, definitely something to keep in mind. Um, and if you're tall, this would be a really great sweater dress option too, since it does have that additional length there. All right, the next thing I wanted to compare at J. Crew and J. Crew Factory is the sweaters. I personally really love the cashmere sweaters that I've got at J. Crew before. And this one looked similar as far as the style. It's the same crew neck and it's the same material as that sweater dress. So again, very soft and comfortable and looks comparable to cashmere. I think it has 7% wool, which is nice. It's a little bit thicker than the cashmere version, but looks wise, it's very similar. This one maybe fits a little bit closer through the body. I guess we'll compare it next. All right, here's the cashmere sweater from J. Crew. This one is 100% cashmere. I'm wearing a small in both. This one has a much more relaxed fit through the body, which is kind of what I was expecting. And I really like the fit of this one in the shoulders. It's definitely thinner, especially even like the ribbing through here. But looks wise, it's very comparable. This one doesn't have a slit on the side. Um, but I wear these all the time. They're so soft. I did try the similar crew neck 100% cashmere sweater from Nordstrom and I did prefer the J. Crew ones. I just felt like it was a little bit thicker and it felt less gauzy to me. All right, next is a fun holiday outfit. I'm not going to talk about the pants. They're velvet pant, but they're not available yet. So this top is a really fun, it's like classic, but then obviously the feathers are just really festive. 
I've seen this styled layered under things as well if you wanted to layer it under a dress or a sweater and just have the feathers kind of poking out or even like like a sleeveless dress if you wanted the full sleeves to show. I am wearing a size small. I do like personally worry about upkeep as far as cleaning this. So that's definitely something to consider. I wouldn't throw this into the washing machine. I think that was the recommendation. So I don't know. I personally would just spot clean it and, you know, hand wash the areas avoiding the sleeves getting wet. But it's a really fun piece. And then I threw in a red little hair bow. Very easy to do yourself. It's really nice and secure and it just clips on very easy. I think it comes in three different colors. Did I mention I'm wearing a size small and the top? It's true to size. I'm going to see if I can find a look for less to this as well, just because I think it is pretty pricey for how often I would wear this. You know, it's a fun piece, but it's not necessarily like a classic piece. So maybe I can find a look for less for it. Here it is layered under a sweater, this cute little sequin bow sweater. Um, I do think it looks good if you keep the white out, but mine is so wrinkled now after being tucked in that it just looks messy. But here is the length of it if you're curious. So it is a little bit longer. It would be even legging friendly. And then here is the same top half paired with that plaid skirt that I shared a little bit earlier. If you would rather do that, I think this would look great with some black tights and some black boots or even like a heel if you really wanted to dress it up. I also have to mention the J. Crew cashmere scarves. I picked this up back in August because it was randomly on sale and I even started using it then because I keep it draped over my desk chair and I, it's like perfect to drape over your shoulders at the office or when you're chilly. A really great like travel scarf again if you get chilly on the plane or in the airport or obviously if you wanted to wear it while traveling. Um, it's a little bit bigger, so you can even wear it as like a blanket over your legs. These come in a bunch of different colors, and I actually purchased, because I've seen a lot of people recommend one, I don't remember the brand off the top of my head, but it's one from Shopbop, and it's like over $300, which I understand, depending on, you know, the cashmere used. So I bought that one to compare to this one, and I actually preferred this one because it just felt softer and cozier, and for the price point, I just didn't see... The difference personally so I think for the price it's a great cashmere scarf very classic and you could use this year-round even if you're you know in the summertime gonna be chilly at a restaurant which happens to me all the time in the AC you throw this in your purse that way you have something to drape over your shoulders so it'd be a good like gift idea as well for someone who is very into like classic practical pieces for their wardrobe Another sweater that I've had for a couple months from J crew I just love this little ruffle detail and the color is also really pretty as well it's like a cooler toned pink i paired it with this tweed skirt i'm not sure if this exact one is still available but it is a really pretty option for holiday if it's not i'll link some similar options down below i am wearing my normal size small in the sweater and it fits perfectly in the shoulders has a little bit of a relaxed fit through the stomach like it's not a fitted sweater it's great to layer with and definitely on the warmer side without a lot of bulk. I would love to know if you had any favorite pieces or what you plan to pick up from today's haul down in the comments below. And also let me know what is on your Cyber Sale Week wish list. I want to know all the details. But I will see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be a Target try-on haul. So I will see you then for haul week. Bye.